had the pleasure of uh, presenting the interim results of the Destiny Pantrum Row 2. Uh, this is a, a trial, a phase two trial, looking at the uh, efficacy and safety of trastuzumab drexdecan in advanced solid tumors that are HER2 expressing. Um, trastuzumab drexdecan, or TDXD, is an antibody drug conjugate targeting HER2 that's quite potent and already is known to be active in HER2 low as well as HER2 positive breast cancer, in HER2 positive gastric cancer, and HER2 mutant lung cancer. Um, however, we know several other tumor types are HER2 expressing, and um, uh, patient, therefore there, there's an unmet clinical need for these patients that are refractory to standard therapies. Um, also, we know that in the TDXD early phase clinical trials, there was clinical activity in several other tumor types, such as endometrial cancer and biliary cancer and salivary tumors. So this phase two trial looked at the uh, activity of TDXD, looking at patients that had advanced solid tumors, selecting patients based on HER2 immunist chemistry that are 2 plus or 3 plus uh, using ASCO-CAP gastric uh, guidelines. Uh, we used either central or, or uh, local testing for enrollment and enrolled patients in six different tumor types, uh, three gynecological cohorts, endometrial, ovarian, cervical, two GI tumor types, biliary cancers as well as pancreatic cancer, as well as bladder cancer. And then finally, we had other tumor cohort that excluded these two tumor types as well as breast, gastric, colon, and lung. Uh, this study primary endpoint was investigator assessed objective response rate. We enrolled 276 patients and uh, in this interim analysis our objective response rate was 37 uh, percent. Um, we also noted a uh, substantial stable disease rate and notably the, the responses were quite durable. The median duration of response was 11.8 months. We also had radiographic assessment centrally uh, confirming our objective response rate of 37%. Multiple tumor types demonstrated response. We had especially high response rates among patients that had gynecological diseases, but also clinically meaningful activity in biliary cancer tumors, in uh, bladder cancer, as well as the other tumor cohort. We had less activity in the pancreatic cancer cohort, and that study was closed, uh, that cohort was closed early. Uh, when we looked at investigator assessment, there was one response out of 25. There were three responses based on central review, that's the objective response rate of 12%, but also several of those patients had stable disease. We also assessed the activity based on immunistic chemistry centrally, and those patients that were centrally immunistic chemistry 3 plus, the objective response rates were especially high. Uh, you know, the, it was 61%. Uh, in the overall population and really very, very high objective response rates, especially in the gynecological cohorts, um, with a median duration of response that was, uh, it was over 22 months. Um, the safety of the study was consistent with what we know about TDXD. Uh, thus, you know, taken together, uh, this data suggests that TDXD is active in her expressing tumors across a variety of tumor types, objective response rate of 37% overall, 61% uh, among patients that are HER2 IC positive, and it suggests that this is a treatment option for patients that are HER2 expressing.